So, there's been a lot going on lately in video games this past uh, couple of weeks. Uh, firstly, PlayStation Showcase was a little while ago, and I just want to talk about one particular game announcement. Insomniac revealed that they're working on a Wolverine video game. I have not played either of the Insomniac and Spider-Man games, but I heard they're fantastic, so I'm excited for this Wolverine game. The most I played of Wolverine in a video game was in the X-Men arcade game from the 90s and the Marvel vs. Capcom games. Um, the X-Men Origins Wolverine game has been said to be underrated. I have heard about that. That being said, um, Wolverine seems like a perfect character to make a video game around. He's violent, has a snarky attitude. I imagine it being like a character action game like... Uh, the PS2 got a war game, something like one of those lines. Um, I'm also kind of intrigued by the story as well. I heard that the Insomniac Spider-Man games have like their own original story that's uh, true to the feel of the comic books, and I hope there's something like that for Wolverine as well. Um, with Wolverine and them, but I'm really um, interested in seeing what they could do with the story for Wolverine personally. And also just for the gameplay perspectives as well. Um, I think video games are a very good medium to learn more about him as well. Um, as far as the design for the game goes, I hope it's like the level structure is like linear. Um, open world structure, I don't think it will be a good choice for Wolverine, unlike Spider Man and some other superheroes. Movie doesn't really have um, a special way traversal like. Spider-Man or Superman or Cole from Infinite have or even um, Batman too I guess you could say but I mean he could probably use his claws to like climb walls and shit like that but um, I think they'll be you could still use that for like a linear game structure I think but I think it'll be better for it to be linear actually uh, a media representative uh, a couple weeks ago mentioned this game would be a mature in tone so I'm expecting the M rating, even though I already kind of got those vibes from that brief teaser trailer we got. Um, oh, and it was also mentioned that the game would be standalone. Uh, I'm not sure about the context, but to me, it sounds like it's going to be separate from the Insomniac Spider-Man games. If that's true, I'm kind of disappointed because I kind of want to see like them showing up in each other's games. Like, uh, maybe there'll be a... I'm hoping maybe there'll be a, a Wolverine cameo in Spider-Man 2. But, yeah, um, I hope this sets a trend of more superheroes getting their own video games. Um, and good ones at that. I mean, we haven't... There's been less superhero games since the HD era. Um, but the ones we've gotten have mostly been good. I know Marvel, um, like with the Marvel movies, I think like during phase one, we got like a couple of Marvel superhero games. I remember, the, I think there was a Captain America one and an Iron Man one, but I barely remember anything of them and people don't really talk about them. So I think they were just kind of okay at best or maybe even bad. I'm not sure, but people weren't really talking about that much. Uh, but what I really want to talk about here is Persona's 25th anniversary. So, Persona just had their 25th anniversary on September 20th, a couple of days ago. The first Persona released on September 20th, 1996 in Japan. Persona started out as a spinoff of the Shin Megami Tensei series, but stood to be a series of its own with five mainline entries and several spinoff games, anime, and manga. I got introduced to Persona with Persona 3 Fez. I can't quite remember how I learned about it, but it was back in the PlayStation 2 days, but it wasn't until 2009 when I actually picked it up. I've always been a fan, uh, JRPG fan, so I probably heard it recommended somewhere on the internet, or even maybe X-Play back when I was on TV. I didn't get to play Persona 3 Fez long, but I do remember really getting into the social aspects of the game. Loving up stats like knowledge and taking classes, I never see the, seen this in a video game before. The more traditional JRPG stuff, um, I actually didn't like that much. Tartarus was generic and a randomized dungeon, and then in battle, you couldn't even control your party members. All you could control was just the protagonist. And if he died, it was game over. 
Still, I did have fun with a short amount of time I had. I only got like a few hours into the game before the worst thing ever happened. My PlayStation 2 died one day. I can't recall exactly what happened, but I remember trying to turn my PS2 on and it just wouldn't come on. I think I took it to a shop too and whoever worked there told me it was dead. I think my copy of Persona 3 Fest is still in there too. I'm about to get another PS2 so I can finish it, but that never ended up happening. I wouldn't actually get to have my first real playthrough of a Persona game until 2019 when I decided to buy Persona 5 from PlayStation 4. At the time, I hadn't played anything new in a while, and I remember Joker being added to Smash uh, back in like, I think it was 2018, maybe 2019, I think it was 2018, and I knew it had to be good, so I went to Best Buy and bought a copy. The cashier was apparently a gamer too because he asked me if I like uh, Jabber Cheese and I was like, yeah, I do. And then he told me that Persona 5 is really long, longer than a Final Fantasy, I asked. Yeah, it's going to take you at least 90 hours. The thing with that game is you have to go day by day and you can't skip your days. Uh, I guess he wasn't really as engaged with the social aspect as I was because I didn't mind it not being able to skip my days when I played it. I actually never imagined just how much I would love this game. Like... It's now in my top 10 games of all time. If I was born later in life and this was like my first real JRPG um, and I was and I played this as a child, I'm pretty sure this would have the same impact on me like Final Fantasy IX did. Like that was a life changing experience for me. That really uh, teetered off like my goals in life and everything that led up to this point. I think it, things were going a little bit differently if I had never played IX. Um, yeah, so, yeah, after my first playthrough, I played it again a few months later, I, I played it twice, and then I was really excited for Royal to come out, and I ended up buying that, um, did I pre-order that? Yeah, I think I did pre-order Persona 5 Royal, I believe. Bought that as soon as it came out, pre-ordered right away, like that game as well, um, played Royal twice, pre-ordered Persona 5 Strikers, um, once I heard that it was going to be like a full ass RPG and not just a Muso spinoff. Um, beat that only once so far and I bought Persona 4 Golden and um, I only beat it one time so far. Well, and I didn't get the true ending. I, I did. I don't like to call it the bad ending because I don't necessarily think it's bad. It's different. Um, really game gamers get hit uh, too hung up on calling stuff bad or, or bad endings or good endings, but and that bad to me. So I gotta go back and finish it and try to see the true ending. Uh, Atlas announced a few months ago they had some prizes for the 25th anniversary with some uh, like I think about seven projects planned, but that seemed to be misleading. So a couple of days ago, uh, last night they had a live stream. And they revealed a few things, um, but. It ended up really being nothing. All we got was some Persona merch that we found out a little bit days ago. Um, just some stuff like some pans, some clips, a little statue. I think there was some statues. Uh, let me see. Some key rings, little car things, a plaque, some uh, look like little plushies. Nothing much. Some stickers, a calendar, looks like. But, um,. Oh, and on the actual stream, they revealed they have a Persona 5 Battle Room watch that they're selling. These items won't be going up until, like, October to be uh, purchased. And then they announced that uh, Land is going to be at Tokyo Game Show performing. And they're going to have a concert in Japan only, um, I think this November or December. Uh, but they said they're not going to reveal any new information until December of this year, which is so the, basically the 25th anniversary announcement was just an announcement of more information to come, which is really disappointing. Uh, but what could we expect for this in 20 in um in December? I'm really not trying to get my hopes up, but hopefully we might get a port. Um, it's still kind of weird to me that. It's Persona 5 or Royal is not on the Switch, even though Joker got added to Smash Brothers, which is a Switch game. And then Strikers, a direct sequel to 5, was on Nintendo Switch. It's just really weird. Um, 
A lot of people have been speculating about a Persona 3 port or a remake. I really hope that comes true because I never got the chance to present finish Persona 3 and I would love to do it someday. And uh, maybe we'll get an announcement for Persona 6. Uh, if we do, we're not really going to get any footage, I don't believe. We might get a teaser trailer, if even that. Or I'm expecting maybe just a splash image like we did with um, Five all those years ago. I think it was like 2013 or 2012 or something like that. Um, what I really want, though, is Persona 5 Arena. Like a, a Persona 5 fighting game, man. That, that would be so cool. I've been really into fighting games since 2009 when I tried to uh, play complete competitively when I started playing competitively in 2009 and then fell off in 2012 but I would really like that Persona 5 Strikers need some costume DLC too um oh just to wrap up a little bit more um yeah that's about it for the Persona 25th anniversary but something else that was announced a few days ago, well, it's rumors. NVIDIA um, had came out with uh, a little bit of statements about some upcoming games. I think Tekken 8 was one, which no surprise. It's probably true, but I don't know. They could be fake, too. I mean, Tekken 8 is, is inevitable. It's going to come eventually. Um, I think Lucia is going to be the last DLC character, so they probably are working on Tekken 8 right now. And then there's Final Fantasy IX remake. Um, I'm not sh actually. I do not believe this for a second. It did seem kind of um, random coming from Nvidia, um, from a leak, from a statement of theirs. Um, but I don't know. It just don't sound real at all to me. It just seemed kind of random. But then again, I thought a Final Fantasy IX uh, cartoon. Uh, was random as hell but I actually have s but we actually got some proof for that being real but this it's, it's a rumor for right now I just don't expect a final they're not even finished with Final Fantasy 7 a remake to begin with the only the first part came out and we still got probably two more parts and then it's Final Fantasy 9 Final Fantasy 9 is not a popular entry in the series compared to 7 like 7 is the most popular entry in the entire series and nine is somewhere like in the middle there's a lot more other games people will mention before nine not me though because nine is my favorite but yeah it's hard for me to believe they're gonna spend so many resources making a final fantasy nine remake um uh, even if it's a smaller remake like some people mention like something like the secret of mana remake that happened was that earlier this year or was that last year that came out even then i still don't believe it um, it'll probably get ported again eventually, but I don't see it um, getting like a full ass remake um, at all, really. And I'm not even sure if I really want it. I just, maybe because I just had so much attachment from, to 9, but I feel like they won't really do it well. There are things that can be approved at the game. It is a little slow, even though I don't mind how slow it is, especially back when I first played, I didn't mind. And probably be better to have the trance um, system be able to save it rather than being uh, activated automatically. And there's a whole bunch, and there's a few other little things I would improve to, like the prizes for chuggable hot and gold. I mean, hot and cold um, could be better. I'm not talking about the world map prizes; those are fine. Just the ones you could earn just by with points. I think they cost a little bit too much, and there's not much incentive actually. To go for any of those except for the no even for the robo lords i think you could get that easier later in the game i can't i think you can synthesize for it later in the game so there's really no point um but yeah that's that's about it for these rumors and news announcements uh let me know in the comments below what y'all think about persona's 25th anniversary what we could get what y'all think about the wolverine game and um do you think this Final Fantasy IX remake could be real? Alright, but that's it for today. See y'all guys next time. Bye.